make your move, cowboy. I finally had to say, enough of this dust. Dust everywhere. Time to go, time to leave, get away from that dust. Time to fill up. It doesn't cost much to leave Arizona. Well, that was fun. It was fun making that, trying to pretend to have the same voice. Uh, anyway, it was a fun uh, intro. I hope nobody's confused. I just happened to see, last night I happened to see a uh, promo for uh, a new movie. I'm just fixing my tripod so I can hold it more distant. So, I saw the uh, trailer for a new movie and thought, hmm, maybe I'll, I'm just tripping on shit. Um, maybe I'll just make a cool intro for uh, today's video. And then I could make the intro, but I didn't know what to do after it. So, maybe I'll show you one of the things that a uh, being it at or near a reasonably large city does for me. There's a just a block away from where I'm parked tonight. There is a Chinese restaurant, and I'm going to look down and see if the taco guys are selling the tacos down the street. I think I prefer a taco. But uh, I love Chinese food too. So let me have a look down the street and see if there's... See, the thing is, this taco stand used to be there. But I think they had, they were always violating the parking regulations. So somebody cracked down on them. Anyway, see now in... I don't have to rely on the, uh, what do you call it, the lights people put on their RVs in order to get colored lights at night. Going into the desert, you can't escape basically the look of, uh, what do they call it? Anyway, you can't escape lighting when you go to the desert because people put lights, strings of lights under their vehicles and antennas up in the air with lights on them. And they have these things sometimes flashing all night, but frequently just on all night. So in some respects, this looks like the party R. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding you, but uh, you know, there's no, really no more peace and quiet in the desert when you park with a group a large group like that than there is in the city. <clears throat> Clearly, there's lots of noise here, but uh, you kind of expect it in the city, so it's hardly noticeable. Anyway, this is where I'm going to the, what's it called? Chinatown Express. We're gonna go in and get some uh, Oh, noodles, rice, and some chicken. Can I buy one of these with rice and noodles? And some uh, orange chicken. 
and uh, teriyaki chicken. So, I've got my chicken in a bag, ready to eat. Cheaper than actually buying some chicken and trying to make it. I don't uh, always eat in restaurants because I can't afford it. But uh, I've been away from it for a month. What did I? Oh, I might have. In fact, I did visit McDonald's a couple of times in the morning or something like that while I was uh, in Arizona, but not very much. I got in the habit of visiting McDonald's because I need Wi-Fi, or at least I need an internet connection. But my uh, T-Mobile connection was pretty good almost everywhere I went. There were a few places where I was just too far from town. Or there were too many users. That's an airplane. I'm uh, hanging out not far from the airport. Or at least the small municipal airport where the small uh, propeller driven airplanes come and go from. I don't know what it's called. It's the. Uh, not the LA airport, but it must be, it's um, inland or east of uh, Venice Beach or, yeah, that's the easiest way for me to explain it. I don't know where it is. Maybe I should look it up on the map. Now, look at this. It's called the American Classic Cruiser. To, uh, I wanted to play around with that beginning, that intro for today, and uh, it turned out that what I might be talking about is what's good about the city, because there's lots good about being out boondocking by yourself or with a group of people, but what's good about the city are all of those amenities that the city offers. Chinese food isn't available in the Arizona desert. I could have had it delivered probably too. I'm trying to find light that's okay. And then of course there's other things. The only, well, because I'm not commuting and I'm not in any hurry, there's, uh, the city doesn't bother me at all. The noise doesn't bother me. But the main reason I come here is for my photography. Anything like business or a lot of hobbies, basically the city's the place to be. And uh, uh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Walking quickly and talking. And then I talked to the guy there, the, the brother of the person who had that bus. Uh, anyway, maybe I'll think of some more things that are wonderful about the city. This city has beaches all over the place. So I've, I'm booked for um, five photo sessions. I've been back here for one day. I have five photo sessions booked and uh, another five sort of in negotiation. You have to wait for people to respond, etc. In fact, getting five booked in a day is, uh, well, for me, that's super exciting. I got all of the, all of the headache over with quickly. The headache is in, talking to people who want you to tell them when you have time free yet you have all your time free but they can't make a decision about a date so then you have to kind of guess what might work for them then they agree to one of those dates or ask after you've gone through the trouble of giving them some dates they start to can I shoot this day <laughs> in other words uh, they, they need to be pushed to, to actually set dates. Um, anyway, I thank you for watching. 
that was my uh, my attempt at an artistic beginning and my attempt at figuring out why cities are better than the Arizona desert and my rant about what I have to do regarding setting up photo shoots. Anyway, you guys get a thumbs up for watching this video and I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Oh, and don't forget about Patreon and, you know, subscribing and liking the video, etc. Talk to you later.